Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. In this video, we are going to be creating another Vox inspired newspaper animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. So to get started, first of all, you need an image. I have this image over here that I got from a, a website. Uh, of course, you can use any image that you want. But once you have it, just drag that inside of um, the timeline. And then let's go to the inspect over here and just zoom in where the headline is. So I'm going to change the zoom and the position values and I'm going to try and bring this in the center and you can also turn on a safe area if you go to view safe area turn that on and it'll help you align things and then we'll just zoom in quite a bit and just scale like so again I'm going to change the position and try and bring this in the center like that so that we have the visual balance in our scene what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go 10 frames forward and create a keyframe on zoom x and y and create a keyframe on position x and y then let's go to frame one second and 10 frame and change the position let's bring it down and you can basically highlight any text that you want so i'm gonna highlight this bit over here that says a bioinformatics researcher who studies deep learning at tmu and then i'm just gonna zoom into that as well and try and position this in the center you will have an animation like this now let's look at the keyframe graph you can click on this icon this will display the graph for you and here you can just uh, smooth out these animations so i'm going to select these two keyframes and then click on the second icon and it will make the animation smooth and you can do this with uh, other keyframes as well um, so if it doesn't work then you have to select it manually and just move it up like so and then we're gonna do this with our other position keyframe as well make it smooth and there you have it so if you play the animation it's gonna look something like this the next thing I want to do is we're gonna sort of create a focused text effect where we are gonna focus on this sentence over here and everything else will be out of focus and to do that we will be using I will go to effects and search for um, in the generator search for solid color apply it onto a new track and uh, in the inspector will change the color to white and in the settings we will change the opacity to around 70 to 80 percent and now we're going to crop out uh, this sentence over here and to do that we have to create a copy of the layer the screenshot we have at the bottom so hold the alt key and just drag it to a new track which is video track 3 and now we will go to cropping and start cropping the left start cropping the right crop the top and crop bottom as well so you'll end up with something like this and the next thing we want to do is we want to create a highlight animation and for that we have to again add in a solid color put it at the top and I'm going to go to generator, change its color to something like maybe red. And let's go to the settings and change the composite mode to multiply. And then we just have to crop it as well. So just crop left, right, crop from the top and crop from the bottom. Then we just have to animate it. So for the animation, I'm actually going to go to frame one second and 10 frame. We will create a keyframe on crop right and let's move forward to two second in time and you just create the same keyframe by clicking on this time icon so basically these two keyframes will have the same value uh, but we're going to go to the first keyframe which is at one second and ten frame and we'll change the crop right and want to basically hide it and now you play the animation it's going to look something like this all right so the next thing that you want to do is you can see that we already have this um, overlay the white overlay we want it to be visible when this um, when this this red bar comes into the scene so it comes into the scene at one frame one second and ten frame so what we're going to do is we're going to go to video track 2 which is this white solid color and we will animate its opacity so just create a keyframe there set the opacity to zero and then move forward to two second and let's increase the opacity so something like this and if you play the animation so you can definitely play around with the keyframes if you uh, just make it a little bit closer 
I think that will be much better. Yeah, looks good. And you can also go to the solid color over here and make this uh, animation smooth as well. So yeah, there you have it. That's how easy it is to create this animation. Lastly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to effects and search for adjustment clip, put it at the top. And on this adjustment clip, I'm just going to add in dynamic zoom. And if you play the animation, you can see that we have this continuous zoom out animation, but we wanna create a zoom in animation. So all you have to do is just click on this swap button and it will create this uh, zoom in animation like so. If you think that this is too fast, the zooming animation is too fast, you can reduce it. You have to just simply click on this arrow over here and click on dynamic zoom. And you have this green box. Uh, this is where it zooms. Make sure that it is smaller in size and then just you can now disable this and you have this uh, slow zoom in animation. Now you can go ahead and disable safe area. We don't want that anymore. On this adjustment clip, we can go to the fusion page and search for a time speed, or you can use a stop motion uh, for this. And you can change the speed to around three and you'll have this. Right now it is behaving pretty weirdly. I don't know why that happens. Um, probably because I need to create a new adjustment layer for this. Uh, let's see if I just, um, let me just get rid of this, see if I can do this on a new adjustment layer. Let's bring a new adjustment layer and add in a time speed on this. Uh, not the time speed, stop motion. And you can set this to frame repeat to three. And I think this should work fine. Yep, it does. Uh, so what you can do is if you don't want to use dynamic zoom, uh, let's just get rid of this. Uh, I'm going to delete this track and uh, what I can do is on this adjustment clip, go to the fusion page and I can after the media in one add in a transform, a search for XF, this will give you a transform node and I'm going to go to the very first frame, create a keyframe on size and let's go to the end and just increase the size and this will basically do the same thing. It will create the same dynamic zoom animation in here. So that's basically it. That's how you can create this really cool and simple box newspaper style animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video is helpful. I hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one.